In this video, we're going to give you a housing market update on the state of Minnesota's housing market. And uh, we're going to give you a few reasons why today might not be a bad time to go ahead and be looking for and purchase a home. So without further ado, let's get to it. This is your first time on our channel. We do cover the entire Minneapolis, St. Paul metro area, Twin Cities area and surrounding suburbs and the Northwestern Wisconsin areas of Hudson, Somerset, River Falls. And if you're interested in real estate, finance and other cool things about these areas and these topics, please subscribe by hitting the subscribe button below and hit the bell so you can be notified when we update these, these videos. Well, my name is Troy. And uh, I've been in real estate since 1996 and myself and my group of professionals have been helping people just like you from all over the country uh, move to the Twin Cities area, move around the Twin Cities in Northwestern Wisconsin. We love helping people like you. We've been in the business a long time and uh, we'd just love to uh, help you on your journey if you are planning to move to the Twin Cities. So uh, if you're going to move in three days or three months, Give us a buzz, shoot us a text or an email. We'd love to help out. Any questions, anything we can do to help, we'd love to help. So let's get into the market update. Welcome to our October 2022 housing report brought to us by the Minnesota Association of Realtors. So this information is fresh off the press. Today is November 10th, and this is obviously for the preceding month of October of 2022. Uh, it is cold and rainy and nasty outside, so we're going to do this from the studio today rather than being outside. So, typical fall weather for the uh, Minneapolis-St. Paul area. So, let's get right to it. So, 13,231 homes for sale in October. That is up 5.5% versus one year ago in 21. 6,137 closed sales for this month. Uh, and again, that's for the whole state of Minnesota. That's actually down 30% from 2021. Median home sale price, uh, 320,000. That's up about 3.8% from 2021. And average days on market, 36. Now that's up quite a bit from 2021, about 20% actually. So uh, 36 days on market is average right now. So a couple reasons here for the changes. Obviously one of them is seasonal. We're getting into, you know, getting into the fall fourth quarter here, October, November, December, things tend to kind of slow down in the real estate market. But of course, the big news is interest rates. They're, they've been on the rise with, uh, you know, the government trying to curb inflation, bring that down. Interest rates are rising. Um, of course, people are taking their foot off the gas a little bit here and uh, kind of waiting for things to stabilize. So actually today we just got news that inflation did come down a little bit. So actually mortgage rates came down just a touch. I believe they're in the high sixes. Um, yesterday they were at about seven and a half percent. So that's some good news. Uh, but there's your uh, October housing report for, for the state of Minnesota. And uh, I hope you make it a great day. We'll be back next month with another housing update. So real quick before I let you go, I wanted to let you know that uh, there's a few things that are going on in today's market that are actually really good for buyers, believe it or not. Now with interest rates rising like they are, a lot of buyers are backing off. But here's the thing is that you're going to be able to get into a house right now, likely without being up against 10 other offers, you're going to likely be able to get in at or below list price. You're going to be able to ask the seller for some things like maybe some paid closing costs. Maybe they'd pay for that 2-1 arm buy down that uh, we talked about in an earlier video or 2-1 uh, buy down, they call it, which basically gives you a little bit of a, a more of a financing option, as well as some other things that are happening right now. You can get a better price on a home without all the competition and actually be able to refinance that house once interest rates come down and the feeding frenzy begins again. Now what's different from today that wasn't happening back in 07, 08, 09 when we had the, the big you know, housing recession, it was actually a financial recession because loans were be, being given to people without any kind of financial wherewithal or any kind of proof of, of financing. Uh, so what was happening is that if you had a heartbeat, you could get a loan. 
Therefore, people were buying many, many houses and things were going on like that. So that really wasn't as much of a real estate problem as it was a financial problem. So we can certainly help you, hook you up with one of our preferred lenders to talk more about the options that you do have in today's market. There are plenty of options. Or if you'd like to just get a hold of myself or one of our team members, we'd love to help you out answer any questions we can, you know, see if now is the time. All right, we'll talk to you soon. Thank you.